Financial Investment Group, as always, this is your host, Prince Tax, coming to you guys with another great video. Today's topic is going to be gross margin. Again, today's topic is going to be gross margin, but well, what is the gross margin? But before we jump into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, if you got any questions, as always, leave me some comments below. Um, I also wanted to say, you know, I was going through my email the other day and I was noticing I was missing a couple of you guys' uh, questions. I was responding back to some of them, but I'm just like everybody else I've seen. I was like, wow, I missed someone question a while ago. But so you guys know the best way to probably, uh, if you got a question about something, you just drop a comment below the video. But um, I'm definitely getting better with that, making sure I reply back to everybody's email. So if I miss your email, definitely I want to apologize about it. But today, but I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time. So let's jump straight into the topic. Gross margin, what is it? So as you guys can look down here, when you go to E-Trade, you know, you can type in any company, whether it's, today we're going to look at Apple, and then with Apple, we're going to go to, we're going to click on Fundamentals, right here, you see this tab, Fundamentals. So, Profitability, these are the different things in Profitability. Today, this topic is going to be about Gross Margin, what is it? So, what is Gross Margin? You look at a company's Gross Margin to tell how profitable they are. And this is the formula for it. Let's say if a company makes a million dollars in revenue. Hey, we generate a million dollars in revenue. Then what you do is you subtract how much it costs for that revenue. For example, how much it costs for labor, material, uh, shipping, expenses, whatever. So, okay, you made a million dollars from this product, but how much did it cost you to make this product? Let's say if it cost you 700000 to make this product. What you do is you take a million dollars, you subtract seven hundred thousand. You're gonna come with. You're gonna come up with three hundred thousand. So then you take that three hundred thousand, and you divide it by the revenue, the revenue which was a million dollars, which is gonna give you a number of thirty, which is thirty percent. Thirty percent is the gross margin, right? So that's revenue divided by cost of goods divided by revenue, right? So. Boom. For example, the, the company I just gave you has a 30% gross margin. What does that mean? Great. So that means for every dollar this company generates, generates it keeps 30 cents. So every dollar that it brings in, it makes 30 cents. It makes 30 cents. And the reason why this is important, and it's just saying, and it's just to show, uh, you can get a quick question. Um, not a quick question, but you can get a quick view of, you can get a quick view of, how effective or efficient the company is operating like okay if a company has a you know a 30 percent um, gross margin that means that it can spend more money to invest it can spend more money on research and development it can spend more money to make more money essentially right so the higher the gross margin is the higher the gross margin is it's usually a good sign of being efficient that hey this company you know has money to do other things because let's say if like hey i made a million dollars in revenue but it cost me three million dollars for the product then you're going to have a negative growth margin, which means that the company is not running effective, as efficient. Now, this doesn't give you the whole picture. This is just a tool for your tool bag. And when you compare companies' growth margin, you can't compare Apple to Ford because they're in two totally different industry, industries. You have to com compare it within an industry. For example, a software company usually has a higher growth margin than a manufacturing company. The reason why, usually manufacturing companies, the material costs more than a software company, right? So if your material and your labor, not labor, but if your material costs more, then usually that's going to cut into your gross margin. So that's a tool for your tool bag. You can look up a company's gross margin. Like for example, this is Apple. They have 39.71. And it's a tool you can put in your tool bag to say, hey, okay, Apple's gross margin is 39.71. That means that it is operating uh, for every dollar that it makes, it's keeping 39, almost 40 cent of it. So let's take, for example, we're going to look at Microsoft MSFG. I haven't looked at Microsoft's uh, gross margin, but it's going to look at because you know people always think of Microsoft and Apple together. So bam, look at this. Look at the gross margin on Apple. Not Apple, but Microsoft. It is 64, right? You see over here? It's 64. So, Microsoft has a gross margin that's higher than Apple, which meaning that for every product or every dollar that Microsoft sells, not sells, but 
every uh, dollar that Microsoft makes in revenue, it keeps 64% of it as, you know, uh, profit to be able to do other things. So that's just a tool for your tool bag. Um, we'll get into other things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. If you got any questions, drop them below. Until the next video, you guys know what to do. Be safe.